can I put a bag together out of this rusting job lot of golf clubs? Clubs that you probably wouldn't even give a second thought. Let's go and pick them up, let's go and have a look at them, and let's go and play some golf. Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon here, it's been a while. Simon, what do you mean it's been a while? You've uploaded three times this week, you absolute legend. Sadly, this video was actually made two weeks ago and was supposed to be my first upload for obviously the hiatus that I'd taken over the last two, three months since Axel was born. However, I lost the memory card. Three guesses where it was in my printer. Don't know how, obviously left it on a piece of paper, tried to print postage labels, and it's been stored in there for the last two weeks, so I found it. Here's the vlog, enjoy it, but it doesn't make sense because everything I talk about seems like it's in the present, whereas actually it's two weeks old. I've been sorting a lot of stuff in the background, but today we're gonna go and pick up a golf job lot. Tons of clubs for 120 pounds. I'll show you the listing here, and then let's go to a golf course. It's been a while since a golf course has featured on this channel, and I thought this would be the perfect start. So if you guys that potentially just picked up the game in the year, I mean, second-hand club prices in general are just shot through the roof. So let's go and have a look at clubs that potentially we wouldn't even think about putting in the bag i mean these are rusted but there's some absolute hidden gems throughout and i thought it'd be a good start to the channel just putting together the cheapest possible set and giving you my thoughts on exactly what we got i'm going to pick them up now but it's my 30th this weekend therefore who knows when the golf course part of this video is actually going to start i had big hopes for my 30th ever since i was probably about 14 the high dizzying heights of las vegas or wherever but actually i'm just going to be happy to get into a weather spoons and having a few pints with my mates rather than lose two thousand dollars at a poker table right let's get into it this is essentially someone's life supply of golf clubs over their career in their garage and it is a nice little time capsule that we're going to go back into there's absolute well there's some clubs in here that are just destined for a charity shop but there are some hidden gems and this is kind of what the video is about what would i choose if i went to like a charity shop or garage sale to go in the bag and you can definitely get some decent clubs for decent prices even in today's climate of second-hand club prices just being extortionate this ladies and gentlemen if you haven't been playing the game all that long that used to retail at 499 dollars when it came out so you can imagine club prices obviously being quite expensive now and you're thinking oh 400 pounds for a driver or 500 dollars for a driver well someone used to pay 499 dollars for that so just imagine that for now you could probably buy something like this for 40 pounds and you get the same kind of technology as someone did back in 2007. We've got a nice little Callaway Razor Hawk driver. We've got a three wood Diablo as well as a driver to match it. We've got some Mizuno Tezoid irons. We've got some Titleist irons. Are they DCI? DCI irons at the back there. We've got some Mizuno prototype irons. We've got Cleveland Wedge, Ping Putter. Ping Putter, again, highly rate in terms of whatever age, any age. A Blade Putter for you beginners that want a bit of level of unforgiveness so you can train your stroke on, highly advise. Nice little Odyssey Putter if you want something a tiny bit more forgiving. Basically, long story short, we've got something in here to build a bag from and there is a serious amount of clubs for me to obviously work through and sort out. Give a clean, give a bit of TLC and um, put in the bag. But overall, good little start. Back to the channel. Let's get to the golf course. It has taken me a week to recover. That's when you know you've hit 30, when it takes a full working week to get better and feel human again. But we're here, it's Friday, the sun is out, I've built the bag. Let me show you what I've got. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you my job lot golf bag. £120 I spent on the lot. I mean, this is probably a quarter of all the golf clubs I have. Don't get me wrong, a good third of it is just stuff that's destined for a bonfire or a skip, as well, they're wooden clubs for a start. But overall, really happy with how this bag has turned out. Callaway Razor Hawk Driver at the top there, as you can see, it's almost got this like pearlescent finish on the back of the head that matches the shaft, which I'm actually a really big fan of. I think that looks really cool. Most update driver, 460 head, therefore it goes in the bag. I mean, there's not really too much to it really. Callaway, Diablo, Big Bertha, three wood. 
don't really think this is going to see much action today. I'm only going to go and play three holes, and it has got a dent in the back there, but I did want fifth, four, I can't even speak. I do want 14 clubs in the bag to obviously complete this challenge, and it was the only other three would really. It's a bit disappointing, but it is what it is. I obviously can't resell that, but again, I might hit it just to see how it feels and sounds, even with a bit of damage. This, however, this is a nice little club. This is one that everyone overlooks. Look how tight this sits to the fairway. This is essentially like a rescue club. Well, this is essentially what rescue clubs are now. Like rescue clubs now are so big and chunky and this sits so nicely and close to the ground that you can actually get it off a fairway. The majority of um, rescues and fairway woods now, you have to tee it up to even get it out the middle. Whereas this, purpose built for that little fairway shot. So this is a nice little find and to be honest, I recommend if some of you just find one of these for like 10, 15 pounds, 20 pounds at your car boot or Facebook, highly recommend putting that in the bag, especially if you're just starting out the game. We have then move on to the Callaway Diablo irons. It's amazing what a magic sponge and a bit of warm water does because these are turned out lovely. They look really good and they're actually in really good shape as well. Now, I've actually cleaned the grips on all of these as well because they were in a bit of a state. I must give you advice though, never put your grips in a bucket of water and let them soak because that water gets in the grip, under the shaft and unfortunately because they're not um, uh, got like that chrome finish on the shaft on the inside it will rust and if your grips keep snapping from the grip inside that's why and if you clean your grips that is also why. So just basically I just wire brush them down and then yeah, that's it basically, kitchen towel and then jobs are good. And Moving down to the lower end of the bag, we have two X-Series Callaway Jaws wedges. These came out about six, seven years ago. They're nothing to do with the MD5 Jaws wedges that have come out recently. Overall, decent bounce on them, uh, decent grooves on them, and they're going to do the job. As I say, 52, 58 is kind of my perfect little loss. So I don't really need a third wedge. They kind of gap everything and I'd like to think that the pitching wedge will then be gapped nicely into, as you can say, pitching wedge be nicely gapped into that 52 degree at the bottom. And of course, the putter of choice had to be Ping Answer 4. Now, I magic sponged this and a bit of warm water. Look how good that now come up. Nice, gleaming, shining Ping putter to go in the bag. You just can't really beat it. Old school Ping putters, worth their weight in gold, no question. If you find one for a tenner, 20, 30 pounds on Facebook and you just have started the game and you want a decent putter to get you going, this will do you nicely until you get down to 14, 15 and potentially you need to look at your putting stroke and the rest of it. But overall, ping answer four, big fan of that and that's a nice little gem to put in the bottom of the bag. Now, if you were to buy this bag off eBay, it's gonna cost you probably about 250 pounds to get the complete set that I've got in the bag, which is ridiculous because these clubs are really old and there's a lot better stuff out there. That being said, I'm not trying to say, go and buy this set. This isn't the best set in the world, but I do want you to think a bit more out of the box. This is testing times, trying to get a good deal on a budget when you're trying to start the game. So look for those golf job lots. Look for the ones that have got a load of rubbish, but actually they've got a nice set of Mizuno irons, or they've got a load of putters and there's one ping in there, which you know, is going to be nice for your bag. That's what I'm trying to say. Unfortunately, going uh, on eBay or Facebook and just hoping to get a particular set of clubs that I've said or you've researched on at a reasonably good deal probably isn't going to happen because of the shortage of supply. Let's go in. There. Nice little push slice to start off these three holes. This young man's first outing on the golf course since lockdown. This was literally the first few holes. I hadn't even been to the driving range at this point. I was just excited when I finally did have time to get out, do some filming. And that's the one problem I guess I have. It's difficult to get out on the golf course at the moment and not film. Because if I have that time, I just want to get the camera, make content. You know how it is. I find it quite challenging with everything going on at the moment just to just go, you know what, I'm just going to spend five hours and just going to play golf by myself. But I do feel like I need to do more of that. 
Swing is very dodgy, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are feeling the same. I imagine some of you the first week went out, played, had the best round of your life because you didn't think about everything. And now all of a sudden you're trying to work on your plane and your divots and your hip action. And now your uh, golf swing's gone to a pot. So a uh, bit of advice there and experience. Um, when you're on the golf course, go and play golf. When you're on the range, uh, work on technique, work on um, uh, drills, etc. It was nice to get out though. Um, uh, massively over the top with my swing um uh, again gym work could play a part i mean i do want to get all the excuses in um uh, but at the same time i was feeling pretty sore throughout this round the ping putter what a club even better than that this five with the callaway big bertha if you find one of these for like 10 20 quid just buy one put it in the bag it just feels so good um it doesn't go a long way by any stretch of the imagination but if you're down the middle it's just a fair way finder all day massive chunk to finish off these three holes. Uh, as I said, expert display of golf there. Um, first round back. Well, not even round. First three holes back. But it says, uh, say, good to be back. Fourth video out this week. Let's go. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. As I said, I'm getting the groove back. Getting back in the gym. Getting out, filming some more videos. Finding the time. And as I say, enjoying just, well, all of it, really. Nothing really not to enjoy when the sun's like this. If you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you are new, leave this video a like if you liked it. Okay, so guys, that.